Ty took a positive number, squared it, then divided it by 3, cubed it, and finally divided it by 9. In the end, he received the same number. We have a number, let's call it n, square it, and then divide by 3, then cube the whole thing, and then finally divide by 9, and that is equal to n, the original number. Okay, so that's n to the power of 6, 3 to the power of 3, which I believe is 27, and then the 9 just goes upstairs. Or actually, uh, let me keep the 9 there, it would be 1 over 9 like that. So that would be n over 6 times, what's that, 243? And then cross multiply and then divide through and you get n to the power of 5 is 243. And then the fifth root of 243 is 3. A point with coordinates a to a lies in the third quadrant and on the curve given by equation 3x squared plus y squared is 28. What is a? So you guys remember the quadrants? This is quadrant 1. This is quadrant two, quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. So if we want this quadrant, that means x is less than zero, because that's x, and it also means that y is less than zero. Okay, so let's plug that into this equation. So we get three a squared plus two a all squared is equal to 28. And therefore, that would be 3a squared plus 4a squared is equal to 28, and that's 7a squared. And therefore, a squared would be 4, and a would be plus or minus 2. And if a is plus or minus 2, we obviously want the, well, that would, we want the negative one, because we want both of them to be negative. So that means that would be minus 2 minus 4 for that coordinate, and that's when a is negative 2. And I think that's all they wanted. They just wanted the value for a. Tanya and Katya made an experiment and obtained two positive real numbers, each of which was between 4 and 100, inclusive. Tanya wrote the numbers x and y and found their average while Katya wrote the second number twice and took the average of the three numbers x, y, and y. What is the maximum number for, by which these results differ? So x and y are both uh, between 4 and 100 inclusive. So the first average is x plus y divided by 2. And the second average is x plus y plus y divided by 3. And we want these numbers to differ by as much as possible. So I guess we will try to maximize this guy and we'll try to minimize this one. And if we do that, then the, the difference will be as wide as possible. Okay, so minimize that. I will try to choose the smallest value for x. So that's 4. To maximize that, I'll choose the largest possible value for y, which is 100. So therefore, that is basically what I end up getting. And let's see what this is. That is f uh, 104 divided by 2, so that's 52. And this is 204 divided by 3, which I believe is 68. So therefore, that difference, uh, which is 16, is the maximum. And I guess that's the answer. 16. Square A, B, C, D has side length 10. Points W, X, Y, Z are the midpoints of the segments A, B, B, C, C, D, and W, X. Determine the area of the quadrilateral X, C, Y, Z. All right, let's work with this. So let's just draw a line down the middle like that. And therefore, since that's 10, that's 10, that was 10, now I've basically made a 5 by 5. So if you look at that rectangle W, Y, B, C, that's basically be a 5 times 10 which is a 50 um, is the area. And since x is the midpoint of BC, that's also 5. So that triangle, uh, WBX, would be 1 half base times height, which is 1 half times 5 times 5, which is 12.5. Just put that 12.5 in there. And then that other triangle, WZY, that base, WY, is 10, so 1 half. 1 half times 10 times, now the height is from here to here, 
And that height is basically half the distance of that 5, so it would be 5 over 2. So that looks like 50 over 4, which is 12.5. So and finally, to get that uh, C, X, Z, Y quarter lateral, it would be that 50 minus that 12.5 minus that 12.5, and that is 25.